Hello friends, welcome to Python video tutorials. In this video, I am going to give you more information about regular expressions. And uh, when we are working in primarily in data engineering side, uh, most of the requirements will be using SQL and uh, PySpark. But when it comes to core Python related, core Python related like list functions and in a similar way, some requirements if you want to use regular expressions. A core Python is having a more benefits where you can go with a plenty of uh, searching methodologies where you can get a particular pattern based searching particular strings or integers or maybe mail IDs or particular objects based. So even PySpark also is having a regular expression extract and regular expression replace function. Even you can use those functions or still if you want to use core Python. So core Python also providing one uh, library called regular expression. So you can use a regular expression library and we can satisfy with the requirements. So first we'll use this library. So there is a library called regular expression. You can import RE. So that library will get imported. Just use a help RE. So that regular expression library will give you complete information about that. Okay. So Python help function will give you complete information about this library and inside this library many functions are available and searching patterns, how we will search characters, how we will search particular numbers, words. So different pattern based and uh, special sequence of particular characters if you are looking for that. So different patterns are available and anyway these are our functions which we can use this. Okay, and when it comes to functions, so primarily uh, find all, split function, and uh, substitute function, search, match. Okay, so these are commonly using functions, and I will give a few examples how to use these functions in core Python. So before that, as I told you, we need to understand this information like special characters. So, and wherever you are using a regular expression and importance and usage of usage of particular characters let's just i mentioned already here and uh, whenever you are looking for uh, particular string based or character based maybe integers numbers or maybe particular string values so find all returns a containing values whatever you are looking for that so find all whatever matching for that it will give a list search so search based on your pattern if it is satisfied so it will return the object okay and converting it's like based on particular special character or space so you can split the particular data using a split function okay and then replacing strings so that is called sub function uh, which is uh, you can say substitute or replace similar kind of replace so replace one or more matches on particular string. So we can use these functions. And whenever you are using this function in the notation, like a lowercase yes, if you are using the space character. So wherever you have a space character, it will return that. Uppercase if you are using, it will return except that space characters. Similarly, if you are looking for digits, lowercase d. And uppercase D means except digits, digits remaining thing you can expect. The similar way, W it's a lowercase. So if you are using alphanumeric characters, it will return. And uppercase W if you are using, then accept that. Okay, accept alphanumeric, which is special characters. So other than alphanumeric characters, if you are looking uh, special characters, we can use this one. And dot notates every character. And whenever you are using this expressions, right? So that expressions normally will go with multiple characters. So that is called starts and ends with square bracket. So starts and square bit, uh, this whenever you are specifying square brackets, uh, primarily we will use for set of characters if you are looking. A to Z, lowercase, A to Z, uppercase, or zero to nine numbers. So that is called set of characters if you are. And the backward slash, so primarily you can say special sequence maybe numbers or characters if you are going for that will be using that so dot it's nothing but every character and so similar way these all are uh, 
options which we can use that and if you look at this plus is very important uh, whenever you see plus so I will show you with examples okay first we'll start with a few examples you will get clarity just I'm importing function regular expression function and uh, this is a string so I want to find spaces in this string so spaces means white spaces so white spaces what we can do yes lower case yes and uh, the second one is your string the second argument is your string which is the variable which will have that so it should return all empty spaces okay that is called lower case yes if i use upper case yes if i use upper case yes so upper case yes is opposite for that so opposite for that means except spaces so except spaces whatever it is there it is returning but when you are going with it directly it will give you each character so plates donates all so whatever it is there it will give you that in a individual so that's why here one or more character is plus okay whenever you are using that star means zero or more characters zero or more characters and whenever you are searching particular thing starts with and ends with so we can use dollar is end with and similar way starts with and uh, either so either also we can use this so what we'll do we'll understand all the options so first search so search lower case yes as i told you it it will return empty spaces and whenever you are using a search okay search function it will return the object so it is returning object you see this and the matching position so where it is having empty spaces it is having empty spaces index 3 to 4 that is called first so whenever you use a search a search primary requirement is finding and giving that position so that is called 3 to 4 indexes there you can find a match that is called space okay and uh, again while well, uh, this return object will have another function called start so that start where it is starting that so where it is starting means that position so 3 to 4 right the start position it will give you that if you are looking for that okay so that's the purpose of search function just it will give you that whatever you are searching here so just we are using lower case yes so lower case means empty space wherever it is there if i go with upper case yes so upper case means other than this so other than space means character so character anyway starting with zero characters are starting with zero if you are looking for digits if i go with the lower case so lower case digit nothing is available so that's why it is throwing exception the similar way here lower case d means any numbers so none nothing so if i go with here 44 or 45 so 44 or 45 match from from 31 to position 32 so similarly if i give some number here 34 or 43 now you can see 11th position it's found that is the lower case d so if i go with upper case d other than number so other than number anyway string so string it is starting from h it is available that is called search if i go with the lower case d plus more than one so more than ones it is available again anyway both are numbers digits starting with 11 that you can see 31 and 32 so here so plus means both you can get that 45th so more than one so more than one whatever it is there so if you're not using a plus one or more character plus means one or more character so without placements only single character so if it is available that then this is about search then split so split based on particular character it will split and provide the python list separated by comma so here we are using empty space that is called single space so here you can see this single space wherever you see this it is splitting that and substitute that is called replace so replace means wherever you have some particular space or particular character if you want to replace then you can replace that is the search string a replace string 
okay search string replace searching with a space wherever space is there replace with just space okay so wherever space is there just it will sub substitute wherever space is there you can say this or i want to replace some particular value see here so wherever space is there it is replaced with 33 so that is called substitute or you can say replace and then another one is matching so matching means so based on your pattern so if it is matching so whatever you are giving a pattern if it is matching so this pattern i'm using other than digits so other than digits so other than digits means which is first string it will give you that the first string which is other than this is 34 is starting here so before that the string is python regular if i don't have a digit here then till it will come other than digit still that is called matching string okay so one or more character plus means matching this other than that okay and find all so find all also searching kind of and here i am looking for in integers that is called digits i am looking so wherever digits are there find all but whenever you are looking uh, it will go with single character so two four five seven seven so d plus if you use what will happen it will go with one or more characters so one or more characters means exact whatever digit you can say this so this is called finding digits then up so this is a similar way so finding digits means wherever you see 40 2 and 30 those digits you can see numbers it is retrieving and then uppercase d so uppercase d other than numbers so other than numbers means characters so other than number means characters and d means individual characters it will display and plus means all characters whatever words are there you can see this okay and uh, when it comes to numbers so wherever number is there you see this okay here it is there and special characters also it is returning so if you are looking for a to z words that is called numeric characters so integers and numbers both if you are looking so first we tried with the numbers then characters and special characters so if you are looking for only just i will give some special characters okay so lowercase w means individual all that is characters numbers you will get that but not special characters you see this special characters it is not written so plus means individual word one or more than one character one or more than one numeric characters it will get okay then i'm looking for only special characters whatever it is there i'm looking for only special character that is called uppercase w so uppercase w will return other than numeric characters other than numeric characters means which is so whatever is there in this numeric characters it will avoid then it will display special characters so here special characters and spaces also it will display this is and this so these all are regular expressions which we can use based on requirement always remember how to use this and uh, similar way the fu similar functions are available in fivespark that is called regular expression replace and regular expression extract but core python is having many options and many functions so many options and many functions are available and i gave a few more examples in this folder where you can find uh, many examples okay so this is about regular expression so re regular expression is a vast subject but primarily if you if you are planning to move to data science and maybe deep learning so there definitely you should use this and uh, definitely you should learn this because when it comes to analysis part uh, you should know more regular expressions how to extract primarily when you're working in web-based data okay and more data validations part if you are looking for that phone numbers mail ids and particular web addresses 
so regular exercise will help you on that okay thank you for watching my videos thank you very much